Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 13. In this question we're going to start with gf of x. We're told g of x in the question, that's x squared plus 2x. To do g of f of x we're going to replace all of the x's in the g function with whatever the f function was, and that's 3x minus 1. So instead of x squared it'll be 3x minus 1 all squared, and instead of plus 2x it's 2 lots of 3x minus 1. Of course, 3x minus 1 all squared is just the same bracket repeated twice. So we can expand this bracket. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. And negative 1 times 3x, negative 3x again. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Then we expand the second bracket. 2 lots of 3x is 6x, and 2 lots of negative 1 is negative 2. Now we can simplify here, so we've got 9x squared. If we collect up the x terms here, they actually cancel to give 0. And then onto the constant terms, we've got plus 1, take away 2, which is negative 1. So gf of x is 9x squared minus 1. Now we'll move on to hf of x. So we're given h of x in the question, it's x plus 1 over x plus 2. And we need to replace the x's again with the f function, so 3x minus 1. So we'll have hf of x, and we've got x plus 1, so we'll replace the x with 3x minus 1, and then plus 1. And then on the bottom, x plus 2, so replace the x with 3x minus 1, and then plus 2. This simplifies very easily, so we end up with 3x minus 1 plus 1, which is just 3x, and 3x minus 1 plus 2, which is 3x plus 1. So we now have hf of x, which is 3x over 3x plus 1. Now we'll look at f inverse of x on the bottom of this fraction here. So the function for f is f of x equals 3x minus 1. Let's replace the f of x with y and then we'll rearrange this to make x the subject. If we add 1 to both sides, we get y plus 1 equals 3x, and then divide both sides by 3, you'll get y plus 1 divided by 3 equals x. If we now swap the x's and y's around, we can replace the y with f inverse of x, so we end up with f inverse of x equals x plus 1 over 3. Now that we've found all of these functions, we're ready to tackle the whole question. So we'll start with gf of x, that's multiplied by hf of x. All of this is divided by f inverse of x. And then we divide this by f of x, divide by g of x times h of x. And all of this is square rooted. Let's start by looking at the denominator for the right hand fraction. We can factorise the bracket there to give x bracket x plus 2. The x plus 2 will then cancel with the x plus 2 on the bottom of this fraction here, leaving us with x and x plus 1. Now at the moment this is a division of fractions, we can change it to a multiplier of fractions by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction, like this. Now let's focus on the numerator of the left fraction here. The terms inside the brackets, 9x squared minus 1, are the difference of two squares. So we could write this as 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1. And of course it's times by this fraction here. We can now cancel out the 3x plus 1s like this. So you're left with 3x times 3x minus 1. So let's replace that on the numerator. I've also spotted we can cancel out these x plus 1s here. Then if we look at this 1 third, to divide by 1 third is the same as multiplying by 3. So we can just multiply the numerator by 3. So instead of 3x, we could have 9x in front of this bracket here, like this. Now the 3x minus 1s can also cancel, so we'll remove those. And we're just left with 9x times x, which is 9x squared and we need the square root of 9x squared, which is 3x. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.